Guess what, y'all? John's beautiful, wonderful amp is dead. What are you doing right now, John? Uh, I'm looking up Guitar Center's number. I'm about to call them um, to see what I should do with it. You know, see if maybe they'll take it. Yeah, because it's important to dispose of electronic equipment properly. Yeah. Hey, how you doing, Danton? Um, so I have here a Fender Twin app reverb. Uh, it no longer is working. It's no longer turning on. Um, it doesn't even, yeah, it doesn't even power up. <laughs> I've tried my best taping job. I was wondering, do you guys take broken apps? Do you guys take, like, uh, you know... You don't buy it. Uh, Farmer's Branch location, which is just 15 minutes northwest of me off of 635 heading west off the service road. Uh, their tech there, Aaron, does work on amps. Uh, he does uh, pick them up. But yeah, but if it doesn't, but if it's like, you know, dysfunctional, like just doesn't work, we, if we want to just... buy it, no. We don't buy anything that doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, so if I wanted to properly dispose of it, um, how, what, what would you recommend for me to do that? I don't know off the top of my head. I can ask someone who's sitting right next to me if they have an answer. Uh, for sure. That'd be awesome. Yeah, just give me one moment. There's not really anything specific as far as disposing of it. I mean, bulk pickup is usually every other week as far as trash. Uh, if you didn't want to trash it, sometimes you can just set it outside whenever it's not raining and someone will come by and scoop it up. Okay. I but just, yeah, as far as selling it, I don't think anyone's going to... I mean, you could maybe try to sell it for parts on eBay or something, but... I have no idea. Hey man, I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Here we Bye. go. Peace. Yeah, so we about to, uh, we on Google before this actually, and the proper way to dispose of it, we're going to take it to a uh, recycling plant. I know, I, I'm pretty sure that's a, that's a good way to deal with this problem. Yeah, so. Come on with me, guys. <laughs> Come on, let's go to the recycling plant. <laughs> Bye bye, Amp. We hey. loved you and you provided us great service for the last how many years, John? Man. I don't even know. Like, how long have we had this Amp for? This is I've always. Look at y'all. Look, y'all. He had all his tape trying to keep it together. Anyway, he tried. He kept it He kept it working as long as possible, and that's what people will do. That's what we're good at is making do with what you have for as long as you can. Exactly. Right okay, John's waiting on me to get my side. I got you, John. I can't help you. I'm sorry. I'm too busy. I'm too busy filming. All right, I'm hopping in my side. Yeah, okay, I remember this. There's the Honda that we you saw the video. If you haven't seen the video about the Honda, I recommend that you uh, tune in and look at that video. There's the recycling plant right there. There's the recycling plant. All right, there. Okay. Take this left. Yes. City of Dallas, Southwest Transfer Station. Recycling, whoa, look at that. What's he doing? Look at big old truck. Uh-huh. They only open Wednesdays and Saturdays. There's all the signs and warnings. I don't know where they go. No commercial vehicles, no scavenging. Uh, make a complete stop before rolling onto the scale. Uh, are you on the scale? Stop. A valid driver's license is required. Proof of residency. Alright, I think this guy's coming to help us. We're not sure. This is our first time. How you doing, coach? Hey, Bye bye. Back. Bye, Jody. Alright, he said I'm going to 
went to Target and oh, look at all that trash and all. Look at all of that. But we're properly recycling. And, oh, it smells, y'all. It smells really bad in here. Well, John's getting it by himself. Oh, look at that guy. He's empty in his truck. Alright. Hey, did we get sodas? Bye, Amp. We have recycled. Hey, we go that way? Alright, y'all, thanks for coming along with us on the recycling, properly recycling dead appliances. Any last words about your amp, Jay? Uh, wish we could have made some money off of it. Yeah. Okay, so John, what are you gonna do now for a an amplifier? Um, so I'm gonna use a QSC speaker for right now. Um, yeah, and just plug directly into that. Or if the uh, venue has a PA system or a mixer, then I'll plug directly into the house. Okay. All right. Thank you. Peace out.